important i want utmost attention from each one of you the logic which i am going to discuss you will not find in any of the regular textbook application of digital sum in arithmetic application of digital sum in arithmetic very very important pay attention to it you will have a very very good time in learning these concepts and thinking you will be able to solve a lot of questions very very easily and effortlessly first a percentage e is defined as a on 100 a percentage percentage is for every 100 percentage percentage per is for cent is every 100 percentage for every 100 for every 100 generally in arithmetic what we do is we remember percentage into fractions and we use fractions and we think that that is the only way to solve a problem suppose a percentage increase that is on 100 a increase or i will write like this one minute sir i'll do like this then i'll explain you mathematically first we'll do very logically a percentage is a by 100 listen very very carefully sir beautiful concepts suppose initial value 100 there is a 20 percentage increase there is a 20 percentage increase 20 percentage is defined as 20 by 100 on 120 increase the final value is 120 final value is 120 that means if i say there is a 20 percentage increase 20 percentage increase initial value is 100 because it is for every 100 20 percentage increase on 100 20 increase it is 120 by 100 so wherever i find percentage increase or percentage decrease denominator is defined as initial value denominator is defined as initial value numerator is defined as final value numerator is defined as final value just write down in the same order sir change is given by final value minus initial value change is given by final value minus initial value for everything we will take 100 as the denominator either we will take 100 as the denominator or we will take 1 as the denominator 100 we will take it as a denominator if you are solving problems from a percentage point of view 1 we will take if you are solving problem from a ratio point of view or we will take the lcm of the given values if you are solving problems from a number system point of view answer remains the same answer remains the same we will get fractions if you take the base value as 1 in ratios you will get everything in percentage if you take the base value as 100 in lcm you will get the values which are factors of the given number initial value 100 20 percentage increase percentage increase on 100 20 increase similarly if the initial value is 100 there is a 25 percentage decrease 25 percentage decrease on 100 25 decrease which is 75 when i say 25 percentage decrease that is on 100 there is a decrease of 25 denominator is always the initial value denominator is always the initial value final value is on the numerator final value is present on the numerator denominator has the initial value change 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 is final value minus initial value final value minus initial value i hope the idea it is clear because it is minus 25 there is a dip minus 25 there is a dip i hope the idea it is clear these three problems are clear how we are going to use digital sum in arithmetic problems arithmetic problems more specifically percentage and its application related problems how we are going to do it in si 
how we are going to do it in CI, how we are going to do it in profit loss and discount, how we are going to do it in time and work related problems, how we are going to do it in ratio related problems. Entire class focuses on application of percentage. Percentage is the entire quantity. Definition of a percentage, defini definition of a percentage increase, definition of a percentage decrease. Third point clear. Fourth point. Initial value, it is 100. Listen carefully, sir. If you understand fourth point, then this is the beginning for the next entire problems in the session. There is a 20 percentage increase. On 120 increase, it is 120. On 120, there is a 25 percentage increase. 25 percentage, it is 125 by 100 into 120. Am I right? 25 fives are 24 fours are 430 is are. It is 150. For me, these are not important, sir. For me, what is important is initial value it is 100 there is an increase of 20 120 by 100 again there is an increase of 25 percentage 100 125 up arrow is increase down arrow it is a decrease up arrow increase down arrow decrease this example please put it as very very important very very important Initial value it is 100, 20 percentage increase, 120. On 120, 25 percentage increase, 1 by 4 into 120, 130. 100 is becoming 150, 100 is becoming 150. What is the overall increase? Overall increase is 50 percentage, am I right? Overall increase is 50 percentage. Now see, 100, 20 increase, 120, 100. 25 increase. Now these 0, 0 cancel. We will not calculation. We will not do any calculation. No calculation. Then the question comes. Then how to do it by using digital sum? Then how to do it by using digital sum? Very, very important. This class will help you how you can eliminate the usage of percentage into fractions. Entire idea is not to do any calculation. Now see here. Concept. First concept. Listen carefully, sir. Concept. First question. Two increases of two increases of 20 and 25 percentage. Two increases of 20 and 25 percentage will result in dash percentage change. Will result in dash percentage change. Options are 40, 45, 50, 60. Two increases of 20 and 25 percentage will result in dash percentage change. You are not comfortable in successive percentage. You just cannot mug up percentage into fraction. Now look at Anil Nair's way of solving. How am I going to solve this question without even converting anything? Just applying the digital sum concept. Two increases of 20. On 120 increase, 120. Then another increase on 125 increase, 125. Denominator, it is the numer initial value. Numerator, it is the final value. 1 plus 2, 3. 1 plus 2 plus 5, it is 8. 100 digital sum is 1. 3 8s are 24. 2 plus 4, it is 6. Change is final minus initial. 6 minus 1, 5. Answer digital sum should be 5. Answer digital sum should be 5. Are you all with me? This is the power of solving DI problems in seconds. If you know this concept. Two increases of 20 and 25 will result in dash percentage value. 
increase means initial value it is 100 20 increase 120 and 125 increase 125 120 digital sum is 3 125 digital sum is 8 100 it is 1 I just made use of answer options. Still, I'll tell you many ways in percentages. Initially, level number 1. 24. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 is the final value. Initial value 1. Change. Change is nothing but the answer option. 6 minus 1, it is 5. Answer digital sum should be 5. Answer digital sum should be 5. 40, 9, 60, 5. What if there are more than one answer options with 5? That also I will explain. Let me first complete level 1 problems. I hope this first concept, it is clear. Now, let us see this question. A number increased by number increased by 22.5 percentage 22.5 percentage increase that means initially it is 100 it is increased by 22.5 122.5 122 122.5 is giving 98 find the original number am i right so 122.5 122.5 is giving you 98. 100 is giving you how much? 100 by no calculations. 122.5 into 98. 2 pence cost 4 rupees. 4 pence cost how much? 5 plus 2 plus 2. 9 out. 100 digital sum is 1. 9 out into 8. Answer digital sum should be 8. Answer digital sum should be 8. Are you all with me? Are you all with me? This is something probably you have never seen in any of the YouTube videos. This is something where most of the students probably will not understand its importance and waste a lot of time in remembering percentage to increases. I hope this idea it is clear. For me, fundamentals matters. This is something which I learnt while when I am understanding the importance of percentages in 5th class and 6th class textbook. A number increased by 22.5 percentage. Suppose if the options, option it is 71, it is there. 71, it is there. A number increased by 22.5. 71 plus. Put it as even if I take 25 percentage. 25 percentage, it is almost one fourth. One fourth of 71 is 17.5. It is giving you 88.5, but I require 98. By understanding little fractions, you can eliminate all incorrect answer options. I hope this example is clear and this example also, it is clear. One minute, sir. One minute. For me, as many examples as possible, that gives an idea to you. Second question. Second question. Percentage increase. It is 40 percentage. Percentage decrease. It is 25 percentage. 25 percentage. Overall percentage increase. Overall percentage change. If the options are like this. 10. 5. 10, 5, 15, 20%. One is to do the calculation. Another, you can also use digital sum to solve the question. Digital sum to solve the question. How to solve? Let us see. One minute, sir. 100, 40 increase, which is 140. 100, 25 decrease, it is 75. 140, digital sum is 5. 75, 7 plus 5, 12, which is 3, divided by 100. 5, 3 is 15 by 1. 1 is the initial value. Final value, digital sum is 6. Final value, digital sum is 6. Initial value, digital sum is 1. Difference is 6 minus 1, 5. Answer, digital sum should be 5. Are you all with me? 
are you all with me very very easy questions if you understand the idea 140 increase is on 140 increase 140 on 125 decrease 75 140 distal sum is 5 75 distal sum is 3 5 threes are 15 15 distal sum is 1 plus 5 6 initial value 1 6 minus 1 answer it should be 5 suppose if there are more than one answer options with the digital sum 5 that I will discuss as the class moves on. As the class moves on. Just have some patience and listen carefully. Next, percentage changes are. Percentage changes are 20, 25 and 10 percentage. Overall, percentage changes. Overall, percentage change. 65 percentage. 70 percentage, 75 percentage and 60 percentage. Please drop your pen, sir. Percentage changes are 20, 25 and 10 percentage. Overall percentage change is how much? You do not need to know A plus B plus AB by 100. How you can solve it? Now see. On 100, 20 increase, 120. On 100, 25 increase, 125. On 100, 10 increase, it is 110. 120, distal sum 3. 125, distal sum 8. 110, distal sum is 2. Denominator, it is 1. 3 8s are 24. 24 2s are 48. 48, distal sum is 3. Initial value, 1. Final value, 3. Difference, distal sum. It is 2. Answer digital sum should be 2. This is 65. 6 plus 5, 11. 1 plus 1, 2. I hope it is easy. This is something where most of the students do not even know. And they end up mugging a lot of formulae. A plus B plus AB by 100. Still will solve a lot of beautiful problems related to this concept. What did I do? I just defined what do you mean by change. On 120 increase, 120. On 125 increase, 125. On 110 increase, 110. Denominator it is the initial value. Numerator it is the final value. Numerator it is the final value. I hope it is clear. Then we will use some more concepts of A plus A percentage and B percentage. Overall change is greater than A plus B. That all we will discuss little little after some time once we will complete basic fundamental questions now let us see in an election there were only two candidates one of the candidates got 40 candidate one and candidate two first one got 40 and is defeated by the other candidate only two candidates are there so second one got 60 difference is nothing but 20 percentage difference is nothing but 20 percentage these differences in terms of votes, it is 298. Total, it is how much? Total, it is 100 by 20 into 298. One way is 5 into 298. Directly, the answer is 1490. In case, if the num numerical values are different, what you can do is, you can do digital sum. 2 means multiply the numerator and denominator of 5. 5 into 9 out, 8 plus 2, 10, 1. 5 ones are 5. Answer digital sum should be 5. Are you all with me, sir? These out. These 5. These out. These out. Answer for this question is 5. 1490. Most of the arithmetic questions, if you know all the concepts, answer is quite visible to you. Only thing is that your understanding of the fundamentals are extremely important. Question number 2. I hope it is clear. Question number 3. I hope it is clear. And how to use a digital sum. It's a very easy question. 20 5s are 100. 298 5s are. Instead of 20, if the difference is 13.82 and everything, still you can use these concepts. Still you can use this concept. I hope the idea it is clear. Suppose instead of Suppose candidate 1 got 12 percentage, candidate 2 got 88 percentage, 76. It is given by some value, for example, 912. 
100 it, we have to do. Here it is very simple. 20 fives are 100, 298 fives are. But this calculation will become difficult. 100 by 76 into 912. Now see, 7 plus 6 is 13, 1 plus 3 is 4. Multiplied by 7, numerator and denominator. 7 into 3, 21. Answer digital sum is 3. I hope it is very, very clear. This is how you can save a lot of time in solving a lot of questions. Answer will be quite visible. Do not waste your time in doing a lot of calculation thing. Second thing, in whatever the way that I am discussing, the same way learn it and you will see a magnificent improvement in quant and LRDI. I will go very, very systematically and in a structured way. P, Q and R, time and work problems. P, Q and R employed to together to do a work for 5,750. Okay. P and Q does. P and Q does 19 by 23 23rd of the work. Okay. Q and R does 8 by 23rd of a work. That means P plus Q plus R plus Q. It is... 23 by 23 plus 4 by 23. These only three people are employed to do a work. They are completing entire work. Q will do four parts out of 23 parts. Q will do four parts. Q will do four parts out of 23 parts. Into, because he is doing four parts. 4 into 5750. Answer should be divisible by 4. Answer should be divisible by 4. Out, out, out. Answer for this question is 1000. Answer for this question is 1000. Or in simple language, 23 parts it is 5750. 4 parts it is how much? 4 parts it is how much? 4 by 23 into 5750. 5. Denominator digital sum 5. Numerator what we have to do? Multiply by 2. So, this is nothing but 2 into 4 into 5 plus 7, 12. 12 plus 5, 17. 17 it is 8. 8, 8 are 64. Answer digital sum should be 1. Answer digital sum should be 1. In both the ways you will get the answer. Answer should be divisible by 4 and answer digital sum should be 1. These digital sum is not 1. These digital sum is not 1. Not 1. But it is 1. In case if there is more than one answer option with the digital sum 1, we will make use of I for divisibility rule of 4 or we will cancel it. 23 2s are 46, 250. We can cancel it out. That is the reason you should go back and watch session number 2 to understand the different angles to solve a problem. I hope you are enjoying the application of digital sum. Application of digital sum in arithmetic problems. Please read this question. The compound interest in a certain money, the question is based on compound interest on a certain sum, sum, the sum which I took from my friend is called the principal, invested for two years, time period is two years, at 10 percentage per annum, 10 percentage per annum is 1522.50, the interest is compounded yearly, find the sum. Forget about this question. I needed some money. I went to my good friend and said, please give me 100 rupees. Please give me 100 rupees. He helped me with some money. The sum which I took is called principal. The sum which I took, that is not my money, that is somebody's hard-earned money, which I took. And I told him, I will return it after one year. Then he asked a question, Hey Anil, you are using my money for some time. Pay me little extra. So I said, I am very happy in paying you 10 percentage extra. On 100, 10 extra I am paying you. So finally when I met him, I will be giving him 110. I will be giving him 110. What is the time period I will repay back? It is one year. Time period which I will repay back, it is nothing but one year. How much extra I am giving? Extra I am giving is called the interest. Extra, extra money which I am giving is called the interest. 
extra money which I am giving is called the interest. Now listen carefully, sir. If you understand this slide, then everything else will be clear. Initial value, final value, change is called final value minus initial value. Change is called final value minus initial value. Initial value in compound interest is called principal. Final value is called amount. The difference amount is called interest equivalent to amount minus principal. Amount minus principal. Are you all with me? Same thing, only the name difference it is there. Thus, initial value is principal. Initially, I took 100 rupees from my friend. And because I am using his money, I will pay him little extra. Extra is the change. Extra is the change. Interest is amount minus principal. Interest is amount minus principal. Similarly, in profit, loss and discount. Same thing, sir. Initially, the price of the product is cost price. I sold it to somebody which is selling price. Change, I will call it as profit. Profit is SP minus CP. The concept remains the same. The concept remains the same. Similarly, similarly, I went to a shop. The price marked on the product is marked price, which is bottle is there. Suppose there is a water bottle, which is marked as 20 rupees. And I took that water bottle and I sold it to and sold it at a 8 rupees. So, and I sold it at an 8 rupees. Ma market price is 10 rupees. Sold selling price it is 8 rupees. Or selling price it is 12 rupees. So, discount. Discount is when price marked on the product is 10 rupees. I sold it for 8 rupees. I sold it for 8 rupees. I told in the name of Friendship, please take a further discount. Discount is market price minus selling price. Market price minus selling price. Market price minus selling price. I went to a shop. I purchased a product. The purchasing price is called cost price. I purchased a product at 10 rupees. There is no label on the product. I attached my own label. And I told them, in my shop, I will sell it at 12 rupees. In my shop, I will sell it at 12 rupees. So, the difference is called as MP minus CP. MP minus CP. MP minus CP. These are some of the things which a student should must know. Must know. The idea remains the same. Idea remains the same. Whatever the concept that I am going to explain, it, it is valid throughout. Only thing, if the profit is negative, then it is called a loss. Then it is called a loss. When it is 8 and he is selling at 12, he is telling you that he is giving discount. But you know that he is cheating the customer. All in false weight problems, we will discuss in detail. The price, again I am repeating it. I took 100 rupees from my friend, which is principal. I repaid after 1 year. 1 year is time period. And I gave him extra 10 rupees, 110. Finally, it is nothing but amount. Interest is amount minus principal. Interest is called change, profit is called change, discount is called change, markup is called change. Mark change is always given by final value minus initial value. Final value minus initial value. I hope the idea it is clear. The compound interest on a certain sum invested for two years at 10 percentage per annum. Forget about this. This value I am not bothered right now. I will do it at the end. First it is 10 percentage, 10 percentage increase, am I right? See here, first initial, first year, 100, 10 percentage extra, 110. The same thing, how many years it is? Two years, 100, second year also, 10 percentage extra, 110. Are you all with me? So these are nothing but two twos are four, one ones are one, two twos are four, one ones are one. Now see here, 1 and 4, 1 and 4, what is the difference? Difference is nothing but change, change is nothing but interest, interest digital sum, interest digital sum, according to this point, what will be this point? It is nothing but 3, are you all with me? 
or you know what okay what we'll do is this is the total rate of interest till here it is clear now i'll write down here 4 by 1 it is initially the what is the initial sum we have to take initial sum now where is the space is there a space yes 